guys, welcome to Wrestling Figure Wednesday. Today I'll be reviewing the Mattel WWE Entrance Greats Bobby Roode figure. This is Bobby Roode's very first figure in the Entrance Greats line, and it also comes with his robe, which is awesome. So it's better than his NXT figure, even though that one had the title, but this one has the full complete look with his entrance robe. And not to mention it plays his awesome theme, which you could test and demo here. So it's just a little preview. It will play the whole song, which I'll show you in just a bit. Um, but it's cool they packaged him backwards, similar to uh, his pose when he comes out during his entrance. On the back of the box, you can see the front of Bobby here in his robe. It says Bobby Rude. <laughs> Sorry, all tongue tied. Um, has some info about him and whatnot as well. And uh, anyway, let's take a look at him fresh out of the packaging. Alright guys, so here we have the entrance greats Bobby Roode figure fresh out of the packaging overall. I would say it's a nice figure. The paint apps on his face are a little odd, which I will show you shortly. But other than that, the robe is very nice. The attire is simple, but still effective for Bobby as he doesn't have the most exciting attire necessarily besides his robe. Uh, but anyway, I forgot to mention that I got mine on ringsidecollectibles.com, as can you, and you could save 10% on all your purchases with discount code MBG at checkout, and it supports yours truly. So thank you, as always, as I know many of you use my code. Um, anyway, I would like to show you his stand first um, before I show you the figure, so we'll look at that. So if you haven't seen my other entrance grades reviews, um... This is a stand, it has like little lights on it, it has a speaker, also has a name on it as well. And there's a button there that plays it, and then there's a switch at the bottom. So the circle here, if you could see that, the circle is the demo mode and the line is like the full mode. So now it will play like majority of his song, so. <laughs> So that's a chunk it plays of his song, which is pretty cool. So he does have a great theme, one of the best in years, honestly. Um, so it is cool that you could have that forever in toy form. So now we'll take a look at Bobby. So we'll look at his robe first. It is a cloth, which is great. It even has a robe-like belt, which you will have to untie uh, to get off of him. But you can see all the detail in it, which is really cool. It says Glorious on the back. It has all the other designs on it as well. So that's neat. Really excited they made a cloth robe for him because I was going to have one made and then they showed this figure was coming so I held out and thankfully I waited for this. Um, but it does on Velcro here as you can see and just slides right off of him very easily which is great. So this figure is now very similar to the NXT Elite one but I know a lot of people had a hard time finding that one. Um, so this one is just as good and more easily available on ringside. So here's his head scan. I'm hoping you could kind of see the glossiness that it's very shiny on his eyes and his beard and stuff. So I don't know if that's like a new paint app that Mattel is doing, but it looks uh, kind of weird. I'm not sure. I mean, you could still see his details, but it glistens and it's, I don't know. I'm going to have to inquire on that. I don't know if that's part of their new 3D printing thing they're doing or what. Um, but anyway, uh, you can see the detail of his facial hair and everything. It does look like Bobby for the most part. I think his new skin on his new basic coming is better. So I might do a head swap with that eventually. Um, but he does have an ab crunch joint. He has the typical ball jointed arms and everything. So all the lead articulation. Uh, he's got his black wristbands. And then you can see Rude on his tights. The little dot designs going around the front. And Glorious on the back with all the designs there as well. And then he has a typical uh, leg joints, ball jointed legs. And then you can see the dotted designs on his knee pads, and they are open in the back so he can pose his knees very easily, which is great. And then he just has the typical tall black boots, and his ankle joints are actually pretty good, which is a nice fresh breath of fresh air. So this one's being a little difficult. I don't want to 
force it and end up breaking it, but just be careful as sometimes the uh, ankle joints are really stiff and you can't really pose them at all. Uh, but overall it is a nice figure. If you missed out on the NXT one, I highly recommend picking this one up as I don't know when he will be in the regular Elite line. I imagine in the near future as I'm sure they'll be making a lot of him. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure to like Wrestling Figure Wednesday on Facebook to suggest future views you'd like to see me do. And I'll see you next week. Thanks. Like this video? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And check out my latest videos. For all your wrestling figure needs, check out ringsidecollectibles.com. Want to spice up your wrestling figure arena? Check out extremesets.com. Like wrestling? Tune into The Rack, Thursday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern on wildtalkradio.com. That's crispy.